swallow this spiritual pill. Very, very important. Mark chapter 6, verse 56. NIV English. And wherever he went, either villages or towns or states or local governments or nations, they placed the sick in the marketplaces. And they begged him to let them touch even the edge of his cloak. And as many has touched it, we are healed. One of the things he does as he goes about is man to ministration. Can you give English? The same verse. Very interesting. Whithersoever he went or he entered, villages or cities or country, they laid the sick in the streets and besought him that they might thought if it were just the border of his garment and as many as touched him were made whole. So when God's word he went, said he went about doing good, hmm, healing those who are oppressed of the devil, anywhere he entered, Either in villages, cities, or countries, they will lay the sick on the streets. And they will beg him, Master, let them touch the cloak of your garment. And the Bible says, as many as touch it, we are made whole. What does that mean? The garment of Jesus was a perpetual healing material. The garment of Jesus was what? A perpetual healing material. These materials in your hand shall become a perpetual instrument of healing. Either in villages, in cities or countries. Come on. That was not the case of the woman they called the woman of a... Uh, huh? The woman with the issue of blood. Her case was to tell you the cloak of Jesus is an instrument of perpetual ministration. Two more scriptures. In Acts chapter 19, verse 11 and 12, Acts chapter 19, and God wrought, did special miracles. Please take note of what you are expecting. Extraordinary miracles. And I'm English. And God did extraordinary miracles. Today, I am connect, connecting you to the realm of extraordinary miracles. Yeah. To be done by God. Yeah. Now, how was God doing it? Verse 12. Handkerchief and aprons that had touched Paul We are taken to the sick and their illnesses were killed. And demons left them. Anywhere he went, he was doing good. Almighty healer, he the leper. When the cripples saw him, they started walking. Even today, my God is there. Can you English? Psalm 133, verse 1 to 3. How wonderful it is for brethren to dwell in unity. How pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. 
Verse 2. Very interesting. It is like the precious ornament that came and ran on the head down to the beard of Aaron, the priest, and went down through his head, his beard, down to his garment, even to where? Look at verse 3. As the dew of Ammon, as the dew that descended from the mountain of Zion, for there the Lord commands blessing, even life forevermore. Aaron stand for the priest. Did you hear me today? Aaron is the symbol of priesthood. The Bible says the oil on Aaron comes upon his head, goes down, and he stops at the edge of his cloak. It is at that cloak that God commands blessing. <laughs> that is why whenever the priest is coming out of the Holy of Holies on the Day of Atonement, by the time he's going, his robe is like that of a wedding garment. So as he's going, people will be struggling to touch it. Because anyone that touches it gets something. That was the picture in the head of that woman. He saw Jesus as the priest. So he said, if I can come and touch the cloth of the high priest, something will jump into me. And what happened that day? Jesus stopped. Somebody touched me. He said, what happened? He said, virtue has left me. God has not stopped that. That was why he represented it and replicated it in Paul the Apostle. God did not intend that you stop at Paul the Apostle. You are the royal priesthood. It will continue with you. Yeah. That is the foundation. It can look cheap. It can look simple. It will deliver Wonders. Today you are moving from where you are to the realm of extraordinary miracles. By reason of the prophetic mantle. Can you rise? We are going to start today. We are starting when? Today. So that handkerchief and apron that I touch him. That's the word. Paul who said, I'm not even supposed to be an apostle because I persecuted the church. Bible says, handkerchief and apron that I touch Paul. Don't be angry, you. That's just the truth. Paul said in 1 Corinthians 15, he said, in verse 9 and 10, he said, Hi, Paul. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 9 and 10. I love that line. I want to read it. He said, I am the least of the apostles, and I'm not even fit to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 9. I am the least of the apostles. And don't even deserve to be called an apostle. Because I persecuted the church. But God did extraordinary miracle. Huh? <laughs> Through the same hand. Does this crowd? But by the grace of God, I am what I am. When we come to this ministration, it is the mystery of the grace of God upon the servant that works. Are you angry with me? <laughs> By the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace upon me is not without effect. So what we want to tap now is the effect of grace. 
Did you hear that? I'm saying this way because I want you to go and say it elsewhere. Effect of what? Grace. <laughs> it's not the effect of the anointing. No. <laughs> are, you, are you with me? It's not the effect of my prayer life. Thank God for my prayer life. It's the effect of grace. He said, and the grace of God upon me is not without effect. Raise up that mantle. Say, Father. Father. I want to see the effect of grace. grace. Put that skip there. Verse 15. I mean, verse, verse number 15. 10. Grace has effect. Thank God for hard work. I know when I slept. I know when I wake up. But what God wants to do is not the effect of hard work. Effect of what? Grace. Can I pray for you? Raise it up like that and shake it. Receive effect of grace. I'm sorry today. So this does not depend on anything. It depends on the effect of what? Grace. Because by the grace of God, he gave me some grace. And I'm going to join my faith with yours. And grace will meet grace. You will now go back. Anywhere you use this mantle, you will see the effect of grace. Are you hearing me today? Anywhere we go after today, the Lord will deposit into what you are carrying in your hand effect of grace. When I come on Sunday, I will be opening to you what is called the effect of grace. But you already saw it. Abi. How can grace be without effect? Impossible. <laughs> Grace took Paul from the back, put him in the front. God's word receive the effect of grace. In the name of Jesus. This Paul, who said he's not supposed to be an apostle, he now said, But people are coming to me and they are tapping the effect of grace. Hmm? I want to pray for you now. Everybody under the sound of my voice. Let something enter your body, soul, spirit now called the effect of grace. In the name of Jesus. So when handkerchief and apron that has touched Paul goes away, they bring effect of grace. I stand here by the spirit of Jesus. In your business, in your career, in your home, in your bodies, in your marriage, in everything that concerns you, effect of grace will start writing your story. So when the woman with the issue of blood touched the hem of Jesus' garment, what he got was the effect of grace. Twelve years' problem disappeared. Say grace. Demons in chapter 9, 19, sorry, and verse 12. Ankachif and aprons that, that were taken from the bodies of Paul. The Bible says by them, extraordinary miracles were happening. As what? Effect of grace. In your life, beginning from now, receive miracles. As what? As what? As what? Diseases will get out of your bodies. Evil 
spirit will depart from wherever you are. Say grace. Lord, I'm not ashamed or afraid to carry out your task. So, at the name of Jesus Christ, anything you are bringing in your hand and anything, anything you are wearing, I command them to become instrument of transmitting grace. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.